To paraphrase Martin Luther King Jr. a little bit, um, he said intelligence is not enough. Uh, the, the true goal of education is intelligence plus character. Dr. King's legacy, I think, is really the central vein of everything that I do. Um, I think that remembering uh, how to work with people, how to talk to people who may not look like you or be like you or have the same beliefs, um, and it's how to come to a common ground and move things forward and be successful together. When I think about training pharmacy students or pharmacy learners in general, it's not just about what we can teach to them. It's about developing a certain character about them. So when I think character, I think empathy, I think compassion, I think respectfulness and reliability. So here at MCW, a lot of what I do is not just teaching pharmacy students knowledge, but it's helping them understand the ways that they can empathize with patients. So the more we do it and the more they get practice diving into those skills, the more they'll be able to do it when it comes to a patient encounter when they're face to face with them. To do anything successfully, you need collaborators, you need partners, you need people that you work with, but to also pose questions and, and make you critically think and reflect and pause on what you're doing and the purpose of what you're doing. Um, so I think that's really critical for social justice issues and making sure that the needs of people are being met. So when we think about health equity, we think about the, the possibility for all people to attain their highest level of health. So when we think about it from that standpoint, we need to think about what goes into health. We think about health from a social standpoint, from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint. So we need to take a step back and realize, myself as a pharmacist educating pharmacy students, we are one very small piece of that puzzle because we know there are social factors that go into play that other community partners can play a role in and it's not just a healthcare professional. There are so many other means and so many other aspects. So one of the things that, that I do here with MCW is working with the Urban and Community Health Pathway. And we work with so many terrific non-clinical community partners that help patients get one step closer to that, that ultimate goal of wellness and whatever that might mean for that patient. Right now, I'm, I'm working on a project um, to recruit undergraduate underrepresented minority students to go into clinical cancer research. Um, programs and uh, to become researchers themselves because we see it's a need. Patients would like to see and interact with individuals who look like them and who have similar experiences. Having that diverse population is, is imperative uh, for the success, I think, and for the advancement of medicine and, and medical education. Mm -hmm.